All right, what's up my friends? Happy New Year. Welcome to another Monday video here on CoolStuffInc.com. I'm playing some Historic today, and we have a pretty awesome looking deck. It looks kind of like a modern deck. We have a Historic Azorius, I guess Affinity. Um, it actually does have an Affinity deck, Affinity card in it in Thought Monitor. And we have a, an Azorius Artifact deck with a, a pretty awesome selection of cards here across various sets and releases and everything else here. Uh, they've been kind of putting affinity cards and artifact cards slowly into historic um, through very, very various releases here. Uh, historic Horizons, the most recent one, giving us Thought Monitor and Nettle Cyst. We had Kaladesh Remastered giving us cards like Metallic Rebuke and Spire of Industry. Then we have uh, like the D&D set gave us Treasure Vault and Genius Smith. Uh, again, more, more Modern Horizons stuff here. Historic Horizons, there's Esper Sentinel. A little black staff, a water deep action, throw in a stone quail serpent and a shadow spear here and there. And now you've hit the critical mass necessary to play some artifacts and get the synergy off of them. So we have a, a fairly aggressive deck here. We can see the mana curve here, obviously very, very low. We actually have five zero drops here in Ornithopter and Tormod Script. And the point of that is to power out our card draw. So we have four copies of Reverse Engineer, which is a five mana draw three with Improvise. So I can I, Tap your artifacts, help cast them, kind of like the artifact invoke. Also for thought monitors, so monitor and engineer drawing a lot of cards here. Also Ingenious Smith, Ingenious Smith uh, great way to draw cards. One of my one of my favorite cards of the year. Uh, I used to be saw my article on Friday. One of my top eight cards of the year. One of my favorites. Uh, card draw, payoff, everything you could ever want. Three threats here, as we said, in Black Staff of Waterdeep, and the big one here is Nettle Cyst. Um, just a really really powerful card. It's an equipment and a creature, which is awesome. And uh, Portable Holes, or Removal Spell. Just a really, really cool collection of cards here. Comes together to make a pretty sweet looking deck. And we're going to battle it and try it out. We're missing uh, the Fast Land, of course. We'd love to have Seeker Home Coast here, but those aren't on Arena yet, unfortunately. But again, Treasure Vault's a huge one here. Having an actual Artifact Land is really, really cool. Cyborg's a lot of Cyborg cards in it. Mystical Dispute, Aether Gust, Scrap Digger's Cage. You get the idea. And of course, Glass Casket and Portable Hole are awesome in this deck because they allow you to play removal spells that are also artifacts. One of the biggest problems with decks like this is... Every removal spell you play is one less artifact you're playing. Well, not in this deck. Portable Hole and Glass Cask are doing a great job of that. So, let's jump right into the games. First quick word from our sponsor, CoolStuffInc.com. Cool Stuff Inc. is proud to sponsor Jim Davis. We offer great deals on card games, tabletop RPGs, board games, and more. Get a free token featuring Jim Davis and take 5% off your next order if you use the code JIM5 at checkout. CoolStuffInc.com. Cool stuff in stock. All right. Round one. The ladder is reset. It's a brand new year. First game of the new year. Let's rock and roll. Okay. So this hand plays. Uh, Treasure Vault, Thought Monitor, great. Shadow Spear gives us the artifact for Spire of Industry. Portable Hole. All looks good to me. All looks good to me. Knight of Ebon Legion. Alright, so again, yeah, we can't cast Portable Hole on one because the Spire is not ready yet. That's okay. Play Vault. Play Shadow Spear. So there you go. Next turn we have Portable Hole ready to rock and roll. Blood Crypt, Blood Tithe Harvester. So red black vampires. Okay. Talic Rebuke, also somewhat interesting. Um. Question here of if it's whether it's worth to play Stone Quail on one, just to get the extra artifact up or a Thought Monitor. I kind of want to. Also, it's extra artifact for Metallic Rebuke. Yeah, we're going to fire a Portable Hole here. We're going to eat the Blood Scythe Harvester. Because Knight's very expensive anyway. We have a second hole. We're going to play this on one. So now we have one, two, three, four artifacts in play. Just got to keep things rolling here. Shadow Spear's a nice one. Card's super sweet. Can't see it's behind me. There it is. Trample and lifelink. Soaring Imperious Bloodlord. Ugh. Yeah, so, uh... The Soarin Splinter Twin combo here. Champion of Dusk and Soarin. Uh, very, very powerful. Very, very powerful. We don't draw a land, which is going to be an issue. Um... Yeah, I think we're in big trouble. So they've had, they've had effectively their best possible draw... With turn three, Soren uh, on the play, putting in Champion Dusk, and then we've missed our land drop here. If we could, if we could, if we could cast like Metal Sist here or something, we might might have been all right. But um, we can hold the knight, but 
things are getting a little difficult. Get rid of that. Just say go. And now we have a thought monitor for two at present. But again, I'm not sure if we can beat the uh, the sword and, and the champion here. Yeah. All right. So tough game one here. They've had basically their perfect hand of a draw, and we uh, we stumbled a little too much. And they're gonna they're gonna lightning helix my stone coil serpent. And they're gonna pump the squad up. Yeah. All right. We're actually gonna go to the next game here. We also can't kill the six six. You know, we're kind of a synergy deck looking to go big. Even if we draw land here, I mean, I don't think it's gonna matter. We need to draw land. Um, Nettle Sis would be a 5-5. Five, five. Yeah, I mean, I guess we'll, we'll try it. Give it the old college try, I guess. So make ourselves a germ. We have a 5-5 five, five germ. And they have Fatal Push. Nope. Oh. It paused for a second. Voldare in a state. Blood. They didn't sack the blood in the end step. That's also probably terrible for us. Since their hand's great. Ay, ay, ay. Alright. Uh, yeah. This is going to have to be a pretty good turn for us. That's an island. So we could start with a two mana thought monitor. Tapping the vault. Draw two. Land, land. Well, now, now we find the lands, I see. Now we find the lands. Um, and we could put the Shadow Spear on the Nettle Cyst, Um And just, like, get in for seven. Kill the Soren. Gain seven life. Chump block something. I suppose there's, like, a path here. Shadow Spear is pretty good. They can double block if they want to. But, like, we definitely take that exchange. Monitor now costs one. We piled enough artifacts into play. The fact that we're even in this game is pretty appealing. Uh, so we're at 11. We're dead to a stiff breeze, but... Vampire Sorens. Sack? No. Vampire. Nice. And Soren. Okay. So all I have to do is kill my Thought Monitor and kill me. So, really, really good hand from our opponent. Really, really good hand and really, really awkward hand for us. We get to bring in our four glass caskets. And... Uh, we're on the play, but these Metallic Rebukes are pretty sketch. Um, don't mind shaving a Tormod's Crypt. I want to keep some amount of the... Uh, you know, there's a, an element of synergy where we just need to keep enough moving parts in our deck for the uh, artifact cards to work super well. Uh, Rebuke seems pretty bad, honestly. I'm just going to leave the uh, the Crypts in, I think. Rebuke's like... I might leave one Rebuke. I don't think I ever want to draw two, but the first one's probably going to be all right. I like this. So keep the artifact count high enough. Again, Gust, Absolution, not really doing much against them, which is fine. And we've got, now we have a bunch of card draw, eight removal spells. If they have the, the Soren Champion draw again, like, it's just like they're not draw. You know, it's a two-card two combo. Like, either card by itself. Obviously, Soren's still pretty good, but not, like, insane. And then five mana Moldish is also fine, too. But when they draw those cards in concert, same thing when it, when it was legal and standard. Like, it's just so unbelievably good, especially on the play. Play a Planeswalker, play a 4-4, four, four, and draw a couple cards. But we're on the play, and our hand is pretty good. We can keep this. We're going to play ourselves a Treasure Vault first, uh, because there's no reason to decide if we want blue or white yet, and I'm going to hold the Ornithopter also. Double, double Vault and Monitor's great. Reverse Engineer's pretty sweet. A lot of card draw here. And they got no play. Another vault. So, I think the same thing. Just play a vault and say go. Um, we don't know if we want blue or white yet. We know if we draw planes or we draw an island or some, some other colored source that informs us our decision. You know, white to casket feels great, but if we don't, they don't play anything, I might just make it blue for a monitor, so... Quarter Vampire. Sure. Let me draw a Nettle Cyst. Um, that's kind of interesting, actually. Just play Vault, play Nettle Cyst. don't really need to kill this. It's not like that good or anything. The only fear is if they have a, the Soren 5-drop uh, draw again. Like, they draw 2 instead of 1. But, like, if they have that, we're probably in trouble anyway. So, you know, uh, just going to play Nettle Cyst here. This is pretty good, honestly. It's a 4-4. It's only getting bigger. 
Make it a 5-5. Five, five. Now our thought monitor costs 2. If they kill the germ, it takes their entire turn, and we still have a bunch of artifacts in play. Leaning towards blue now. If I want to cast thought monitor, does some more cards. Really, really like. I, I love the design of this card as like a powerful tribal planeswalker. I just detest the this like two card combo here, where both cards like are pretty mediocre by themselves, but like together it's just like this this insane nut draw. Uh, I think we're still in good shape though, honestly. Our hand's pretty good. We can go uh, nettle cyst into one mana thought monitor here, which is pretty awesome, and attack for a pretty good amount. We can attack Soren. Some blue. Thought monitor, draw two. Okay. Send a seven ball at the Soren, I think. I could just attack them, I guess, but I think getting rid of Soren's good. Um, if they're able to, like, lifelink this and then punch through this, just kill a Soren. I think we're big enough where, like, we're not trying to race. We're just going to, like, overpower them with our with our huge seven sevens. So, next turn we've got, uh, we don't actually have any, have any white mana yet, which is a concern, but, like, if we just cast the four four stone claw, it's not bad either. All right, we got your 4-4. Four, four. Got seven cards in hand. Even have the Soren sleeves. Look at this. Is that Soren? I don't know. Whatever. Some vampire. Some vampire. Vampire sleeves. Vampire swamps. I just love vampire. Vampire avatar. I just love vampires. It's great. I, I love the, the, the theme, you know? When a player makes their deck their own, they're just like, you know what? I'm the vampire player. I got the vampire sleeves, the vampire avatar, the vampire mountains. Or lands, I mean. All right, so we draw a hollow fountain, which is pretty sweet, actually. Um, now our white cards are on. We can also cast Reverse Engineer if we'd like to. I think I want to cast Reverse Engineer here. We just tap the two Nettle Cysts and the Ornithopter. And then we could play a 3-3 Stone Coil if it comes to that. No reason to cast a cast because these cards kind of whatever. So we'll shock us in. Reverse Engineer, tapping Nettle Cyst, Nettle Cyst, Ornithopter. So pretty sweet, honestly. The analysis here, pretty cool synergy. Draw three cards. We draw Ornithopter, Reverse Engineer. So I'll play Thopter. Stone Coil on three, and get these huge 9-9s nine in. If only Springleaf Drum was legal in Historic, yeah. Gotta bring that one to uh, via Anthology. So we just jam. And we got some boomers here. This is a lethal attack. Much better game too, and we haven't actually killed anything. You know, we're just kind of like doing our thing, and now we actually have lands to play our spells, so game one, game one, the issue of course is that we just like didn't have any lands to play spells. They're double blocking with Vampire and Champion of Dusk. Uh... Push. Oh, it's any creature? Uh... Okay, that's fine. I was only only your stuff. Huh. How about that? All right, so now they have a nine nine. Whatever. We got two Nelsis. They are two to equip, so we can just fire up a whole bunch next turn. We blast cast to kill this thing. I think ideally we draw land next turn, so we can go casket double equip. All right, that's pretty good too, but Immerstrom Predator, another Nettle Cyst. That's actually kind of fine. We can pump, pump the brakes for a turn here. Um, if I go to Casket, they just sacrifice the Predator, but that would tap this, right? Yeah, so we can actually attack this Soren and just kill it. Yeah, let's play Casket first. It really hates tapping Vault if you play this deck, be aware of that. So get the vampire. Of course, exiling is nice too. I mean, they're not going to want to sacrifice here because it will tap the predator, right? And then uh, we can play another nettle cyst or just equip the first one. 
I think I like... It's awkward, so it's, it's with less mana efficient to equip. Um, both these tech Soren, they block... I guess they, they can't even block this. That's awesome. Never mind. That's great. Protection from multicolored. Awesome. Love it. Metal Sist. Do it. Artifacts for days. For days and days. They call me Dr. Germ. Cool. Sweet game. Sweet game. More of that game, please. Less of game one, more of game two. Charm on it back. I don't... I think I'm going to actually take out the Rebuke and bring in the Crypt. Yeah, I'll leave one in. Even though we're on the, on, the, on the draw now. Rebuke is, like, pretty good, but, like, obviously they're just, like, a pretty aggressive deck, so the card's dead if we don't draw, if we, don't, uh, if we fall behind, so. All right, so we're on the draw. Game three. Yeah, it's fine. Solid, if unexciting. Shadow Spear, Glass Casket. All right, sure. Just please don't have a, a Soren uh, five drop hand again. I just really would appreciate if it didn't do it for three games in a row. Take the Glass Casket. Plenty more where that came from, honestly. So, we just play Vault and play Shadow Spear here. No reason to play Thopter yet. We're not using it for anything. Don't let him kill it. Vampire, sure. We draw planes. I think we're just dumping here. Obviously, Artifact Grizzly Bear is not the best thing in the world, but it allows us to play Monitor next turn, which is pretty important. So, don't play Soren and put in the card. Sure. That grows their vampire. Now monitor's back to costing three, unfortunately. Let me draw Mr. Anderson. Good draw, good draw. So play the Smith. Agent Smith here. Treasure Vault or Nettle Cyst. Pretty interesting because the Vault will allow us to cast uh, Thought Monitor easier next turn. Whereas Nettle Cyst is a much better card, but like really, really awkward on our mana. I'm taking the Vault. Play Vault, pump the uh, Smith, and uh, say go here. Otherwise, I'm playing Nettle System, nothing else next turn, and we're kind of just like treading water a little too much. We're going to rely on a Stop Monitor. If they thought it's here, it's pretty bad, but it would have been bad anyway. So they play land, say go. Wow, no Soren. All right, we're drawing a lot of lands this game, but that's okay. We're going to make this work. I'm going to make this blue. We're going to attack. We've got four portable holes to draw to. Play this, draw two. Pump up Smith. Casket. Ah, close. Close. Um, and then the problem is if I attack with the Smith here, they can block and, like, kill something. But I guess that would, would be uh, still a trade. I think it's fine. Just attack. Now you got Blackstaff. Super awesome card. Makes all of our artifacts into threats. We got a Casket. We can actually play Casket and Blackstaff and equip. Or and activate. Or equip. I guess so. All right, so champion's pretty good, but not nearly as good. But it's not off Soren as a five drop. Draw a nettle cyst. That's also really good. Uh, so we're gonna play the beach, and I think we're into casket nettle cyst. Yeah. I'm gonna cast Casket. I think we're gonna tap this. Exile the Vampire. Pump the Smith. We could just put the Shadow Spear on the Smith. Attack for five, for seven, and gain five. Um, if you offer the trade here, it's not really worth it, I don't think, because like this is gonna grow bigger next turn anyway. Or just play Nettle Cyst, which is gonna be huge. We could try and like draw a removal out though, honestly, like by holding Nettle Cyst. I'm just gonna play the Black Staff and then equip the uh, Shadow Spear. So, we get it for seven, we gain five, Car try and push rem uh, the removal spell onto the smith, so our, our, our assist is even better. Then next turn we can assist and blackstaff the ornithopter. 
Tyler Spear, sweet. Super cool card. Super cool card. It's like just good enough on, on rate. Blood Tithe Harvester and Corvo Vampire. Okay. Kind of a wombo combo. Pretty sweet. We could also just move the Nettle Cyst onto a flyer. We don't need to use the the uh, the germ, which is kind of sweet. Hmm. A little all in though. If they have a, they have a kill spell, we kind of get blown out. We might be we're one short of Nettle Cyst, equip and black staff. What do we cast? Let's just cast this right now before we, our rope goes. Cast this. Definitely start in there. So, trigger, trigger. Then we have a six trample thing. I think I'm going to black staff the Ornithopter. It's still lethal in the air. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah sure. So, there's no reason to, to move this here because we already have lethal in the air anyway. So, black staff, Ornithopter. They got to kill something. And then, otherwise, they're dead. And I still have the 8 8. Yeah, sweet. Awesome. That was that was an awesome match. Pretty impressive games. Pretty impressive games. One and up. We'll take it. Alright, round two. Artifacts are on the menu. Keep. Yeah, that's great. Haven't drawn Esper Sentinel yet. One of the uh one of the better cards in the deck too. Alright, um uh, Shadow Spear here on one. Just like Playing junk is an important part of these artifact decks. You need to like get crap in play, basically. Alright. Darcy. Darcy's pretty good. Um I can see an argument here towards just portable holding. So we don't want these this thing to fill up the graveyard for the next one. And we got a shock for Smith. Also nice to play Smith and then activate it immediately. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Get the hole going. Portable hole is a very, very good card in historic. Obviously, it's funny that portable hole is like a super awesome card. When this card was previewed, um, I was like, oh, wow, this card's incredible for older formats, for modern, legacy, and stuff like that. And then it was legal for about a day until they printed Prismatic Ending in modern, which is obviously a much better card. So, Pwn's playing my, uh, my, my, my Madness deck, it looks like, which is pretty sweet. Um, so, we can Nettle Cyst here, or we can Smith. Um, we're going to Nettle Cyst. Garrett is an artifact for Thought Monitor. A little clunkier too. Next time we draw a lamb, goes Smith equip. Smith play something, so. But yeah, really, really good card, honestly. Fire temper, sure. And uh but it gets super overshadowed in internal formats by prismatic ending. But historic's the one format where it's like sort of like internal format, where ending is not legal. So that's right, a pretty good hit for them. They uh discard a temper, they madness, they hit looting off of the channeler, play looting. This is the Monterey Madness deck I played on the Arena Open a while back. Super sweet deck. Super sweet deck. Uh, I did a cool stuff video on it as well. You can go look for that. Vault's a pretty good draw, honestly. Vault's a pretty good draw. So now I can play Smith and play the Vault, pump it, and then equip it. Portable Hole is awesome as well. Um, now, do I want to equip or play Portable Hole? I think it's, I'm just going to equip. It's more mana efficient. Once the, the Sith goes on the Smiths, it'd be very hard for them to kill. They have Delirium yet? Let's see. They got Sorcery, Creature, Instant. Not yet. They can't have a discard of land. Um, we have one, two, three, four artifacts. This would be a 6-6. Six, six. It would die exactly to Delirium. Oh, boy. If only we had a... Uh, another mana and another color. Interesting, interesting, interesting. So this forces them to have Delirium next turn and to kill my Smith. Or I can just cast Portable Hole and go to this channeler. Um, I'm just going to cast the hole. If I make my big play to equip, and they just they just kill it, it kind of sucks. And this adds an artifact for uh, for Thought Monitor also. So next turn could be a little more Thought monitor -y. Play channeler. And they're going to go for the heat without Delirium. I'm sorry, never mind. They, they don't they're in Delirium. I forgot. I forgot I didn't equip. This is being recorded on New Year's Day, folks, all right? Leave me alone. Uh, Unholy Heat kills the thingy, which is totally fine. Still no delirium. Untap and draw an island. That's pretty good. So uh, let's get Thought Monitor going. Uh, that's a lot of lands. That's fair. That's a lot of lands. Uh, um, play Thought Monitor again. 
Blackstaff. Okay. I mean, we're going to fire up the old Nettlesist. And then we have a 9-9. Nine -nine. Should be very hard for them to kill. Uh, shouldn't really be able to kill it, honestly, in the rain deck. Pyromancer, and then actually Shadow Spear on the Thought Monitor, and the game's just over. Discard Temper, nothing to do with it. Make some blockers, not going to matter. I think this game is uh, all wrapped up. Card's a great card. Not also a super powerful card. Dash for Sentinel, sure. Good draw. Very good card against them, but that was sweet. That was sweet. We're going to bring in our Aether Gusts, our Rest in Peace. Graph Digger's Cage, I mean, it can't cast, it's like it can't flash back looting, it can't bring back Mana Gorge or Phoenix. It's really it, it doesn't really do a ton. Uh, Tormont Script's probably just better. Color Arbukes, the next full of cheap spells. Um, I want some caskets as well, I want like three caskets. Maybe Caskets is better than Gust. You don't even need Gust, actually. Just bring all the Caskets. So, four Caskets and a Rest in Peace. We're going to shave... I think the Stone Coil Serpent. Just kind of clunky. Very efficient matchup. All their cards are very cheap and efficient, so... Not bringing Aether Gust is interesting, but, like, all of our cards cost one, basically. So... Just don't think it's that, that important. They're going to have a Braids probably post-board, which will be good against us, but... Yeah, Braid. So now they actually have a way to kill a large creature. So in that game, we made a 9-9, nine -nine and they just, like, couldn't kill it because they don't have anything big enough to kill it. I suppose two Unholy Heats could do the job, but... This card's going to be great against them. First time drawing it, should be awesome against them. You also got Casket, Shadow Spear, great hand. Great hand. Really kill for Seacrum Coast in this deck, I'm not going to lie. One of the things that makes me most unhappy about the uh, historic format is the imbalance in uh, in the lands. So, they want to kill it right now. And they can uh, let me draw a card. They want to wait. Also fun. We got Casting for Reachers. Pretty fun deck. So it's a pretty, pretty cool mix of like, it, it's got some like mid range or movily elements. Uh, but it's still able to play with like Synergy game too, which is really cool. Typically, these sort of artifacty all-in decks tend to have a problem not interacting. But between Portable Hole and Glass Casket, that actually has a lot of interactions. Some, some counter spells too. Super sweet. Super sweet. Take a drink while they think here. Not sure what they're thinking about. Just unhappy that Esper Sentinel exists, I guess. Probably decide if they want to kill it or not and let me draw a card. They're really in tank here. I want to remind you all, all right, Spikefield has it, right? So we'll draw a card. Awesome. I want to remind you all, as a companion article to this video, as always, on CoolStuffInc.com. I'm watching on YouTube. Make sure you hop on over to CoolStuffInc.com and check that out. Also, my article from uh, from Friday, as well, I'll go over my favorite cards from last year. And uh, just content, free content every weekday, CoolStuffInc.com. No paywall ever. It's the place to be. And we're going to cast it here. This is one of their better better uh, enablers, and they're kind of low on cards. We're going to casket. So I want land to play. I think it's Treasure Vault. Put the Vault. Put the casket. Eat that. Say go. Next turn's like Sentinel plus casket or Shadow Spear. Sure, Sentinel casket's great. Fine, I'm sure. So play Sentinel. Play casket again. And the cool part is that, like, as we're doing this, we're just, like, slowly adding artifacts to the, to the board. So like every turn our our sis gets better, every turn our thought monitor gets better or better and so on and so forth. Yeah, so pretty awesome. Uh, attack for one. Play island. Play shadow spear. Play play Nelsis. This is currently six six. And of course, if they kill it, it just goes right in the Sessant sentinel. So. Magma Spray Sentinel, pay one. So no draw for me, but we're a little flooded. A little flooded. They uh, don't have Delirium currently, but they can, like, abrade this. Lightning Axe, discarding Fire Temper. Okay. Not that bad, because Lava Spike isn't very good right now, because we're at 20 life, so... Basically a two for one. 
Ornithopter's here to save the day. Hello, Ornithopter. Long you might you pick these up for me, please? Pick that one up. Pack this pack this one up. Funny story about Ornithopter, uh, in like the revised rule book, or one of like the really, really old rule books for magic. Um, there's a, a little joke text at the bottom that says, you know, condolences to anyone who died to an ornithopter. And uh, ended up being a harbinger of things to come because of how good ornithopter is in his affinity deck. So I can sack this and make two treasures. That's a slight upgrade in power, but probably just not worth it. So get in with our huge ornithopter bane slayer angel. The old 9-6 flying flample lifelink. A braider bust. That's not an upgrade. All right, and uh, <laughs> Ornithopter number two. Now I can make two treasure, or so I'd be plus two artifacts. It'd be seven, eight, nine, ten. Sweet. We'll take it. We'll take it. Two and up. Oh. All right, round three. Artifact in. Spire Hole Nelsis. Yeah, I can't, can't, can't give this one, unfortunately. Uh, this thing can't even tap for a color until we have a draw a zero drop or something like that, so I'll mulligan. No big deal. Deck has a lot of card advantage, so should should mulligan reasonably well. Great. Spear, Smith, Nettle, Reverse Engineer. This is an interesting hand because we want all seven cards. Uh, some mulligans are different than others. Some mulligans you just like have a fifth, fifth land, whatever. This is the kind of hand where we actually want everything. We have one, two, three, four, and three lands. We dump a lands, hard to guess our spells. Um... You know, it's definitely pretty annoying in that regard. We could dump the land here, because if we go turn one Shadow Spear, turn two Smith, we should have another, one more artifact, Caster Forge Engineer. So I'm going to keep this. I'm going to shoot the land, actually. And uh, we're going to be a little greedy here, but kind of rely on the fact that Reverse Engineer can cost two, possibly. And we have the Spire to make the double blue. All right, draw Stone Quill Serpent. Mr. Anderson. Agent Smith, Thought Monitor, not the best for all, but sure. Ah, uh, this is a mirror? Oh, uh, that's a mirror. We're probably in trouble because our hand's pretty bad. Oh, no. Graph Thinker's Cage. Okay. And so, pretty bad draws. Pretty bad draws. Didn't find the land, and unfortunately, the, th the thing was that we were drawing to a land or any cheap artifact. And unfortunately, our Smith hit an expensive artifact as the only choice. And then we've drawn another expensive sorcery. So even though we were we were drawing to, you know, what, like 40% to draw land, we also were like, you know, 35% to draw a Tormont script, a Sentinel, a Portable Hole, a Black Staff, a Shadow Spear, a Smith, you know, many, many good things here. Alright, so we draw the we draw a pathway. You know, better late than never, but never late is better. Um now we want to play it on blue and just cast Nettle Cyst. We'll attack first. We could draw three here, but like just add to the board. Just got to add to the board. And now if they Wrath, we can Reverse Engineer. With the Cyst and the Shadow Spear. I like this card. I tried, tried to make this card work in Standard when it was legal for like a lot. Like, there's a Pro Tour I played in that format. Tried a lot to make this card work. And it was very hard to do. That was an insane draw. Uh, Metallic Rebuke, well, not good against the uh, one-drop red aggro deck. Very good against the control deck. The problem here is, when do I want to do it? Um... We're just going to start by attacking. Let's see what they do. If I cast Reverse Engineer, they just counter it pretty bad, so... I'd love to Reverse Engineer into a blue land and draw and cast Rebuke, but... And if they cast a Helix on my Germ here, then I get to fire up the Engineer and try to draw a blue without fear of being, it being countered. Nope. Oh, let's attack. Here we come. Take the damage. Interesting. Interesting. Now, this might look a little weird, but I think we're going to post-combat equip. Um, realistically, I'm not playing a Reverse Engineer because they have six cards in hands. They didn't cast a kill spell. They can't really cast... I guess they can, get, they can cast an Archmage's Charm here uh, as a card draw spell, but I don't want to cast a Reverse Engineer and get it countered. I guess I have two of them. I also want to kind of leave, leave, up, leave up the rebuke for a uh, Teferi or something like that. Yeah, this feels just like super weird, obviously, but... 
definitely a little face up. We have a, we have a buke here, but what are you gonna do? All right, so they're gonna try and steal my stone coil serpent. Um, they're stealing a two two, and it has life link because it gives it the ability. Big question here is do I want to counter this or not? Now it's just totally face up. Otherwise, they have a 3 3 life like her. We kind of like, can't do much anymore. We got to counter this, unfortunately. So. Alright. Still pretty good. Still pretty good. The untap and Wrath here. Now it feels bad, but I can still play Reverse Engineer. Lanta Fairy isn't that bad either because we still have two creatures in play. There's the fairy. I know them. I keep up the pace. Untap two. Another nettle cyst. Hmm. All right, I'm gonna cast a person here. Start there. Now that they counter this, we killed the fairy, which is great. So let's try to draw, draw some cards here. See what turns up. Right. So, fortunately, we didn't. I would love the, a white land here, obviously, but. Play more Thopter. Play land. Combat. Can't helix anything now, so let's try and kill this. Let's see what they got. Nothing? Cool. So kill that, gain some life, say go. If they want to wrath me, I still have the junk in play. Cycle farmland, cool. Iteration's great for us. They are under a lot of pressure. Need to find answers. And they find an anger of the gods. That'll do it. That'll do it. So they also shock a land damage, which is interesting. Okay. We still have reverse engineer and Esper Sentinel, which is pretty good. Nettle Cyst also. It's probably just Nettle Cyst plus uh, Sentinel, honestly. It's not worth drawing cards. I want to add to the board again. So Smith. It's gonna be Sentinel plus Nettle Cyst here. Uh, I want to play two things. So play that. Play this. And more artifacts in play. Now it's a 4 4, which is great. Sentinel will be not incredible, but annoying at this stage in the game. More junk in play for Versus Engineer and Thought Monitor. Here's a portable hole. Pay two. Probably hit the Sentinel, I would think. Nope, the germ. They call me Dr. Germ. I'm going to play Charm to steal the Sentinel, which is amusing. Could be worse. Um, We're going to start by playing Smith, I think. Yeah, play Smith, see what turns up. Crypt or Shadow Spear? Well, that's legendary, so Crypt. Honestly, not that bad of a draw, because now we can play Monitor for three. I guess it costs one because of the Sentinel. That's true. Uh, okay. In that case, we're paying one. So I'll pay one. Now we're just going to uh, cast Reverse Engineer, I guess. We could also equip um, and just turn off a lot of their damage base removal. Three cards in hand? Hmm. This is also pretty interesting. Resolving Root Reverse is pretty interesting. I think we want to just go equip here, though. I guess, like, if they have it to Fairy, we're kind of in uh, some trouble. Yeah. I'm going to equip. 6-6, yeah, six, six, they go. They tuck the Smith. It's not, like, 
the end of the world, I guess. It's not very good for us. I wish you could fit some, some ink mod next to this deck. Unholy Heat. Um, that's exact. Oh, like. I could have, uh. I could have tore my script there. I, that was a mistake. Oh, man. Oh, I, I just bought into the game. I just clicked too fast. I should have crushed in response, obviously. Uh, keeping that creature alive is very important. And then and now they have Narset. Our hands all card draw. So I just, I just threw the game away. It's okay. It happens. It was up late last night, you know? Yeah, the game's over now. Just threw it away. All right. Untap and draw. I don't think we have any answer for Narset, really. We have too much card draw. We, 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 like, we like waited on our card draw, too. Yeah, just unbelievably max punish there. All right. Well, shame. Scoop in the next game. I screwed up. Might have lost anyway, but big mistake. Big mistake. All right. So uh, we're going to bring in. We're going to take out our, our, our portables. Bring in our disputes. And... I feel like we're a card short uh, for all the cards we want to bring in here. I mean, Portable Hole can hit their Portable Holes, I suppose. So it's not like the end of the world. Um, but now you have Rebukes and Disputes. Should be pretty good for us. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's okay. We all make mistakes sometimes. So, you know, it's just the, the first magic mistake I've made in 2022. It's going to happen eventually. It's going to happen eventually. Yeah, I mean, so we uh, we have 5-5 five, five in play. They can't play Narset. I guess they can. They can chump block, but... They might have still lost that game. They, like, they just, like, chump block with the thingy. Once Narset... Narset's, like, really good against us, honestly, which is, like, kind of awkward. Ugh. This hand's bad. This hand's all filler, no killer. Uh, All filler, no killer. It's got turn one rebuke, uh, but we're gonna mulligan this. This answer's too bad. Sure. Keep this. Kinda awkward. We need this we need the crypt to make these tap for colors. Assist is obviously great, so is Smith, so is Dan Dispute, but I'm gonna cut assist. We have two good threats and a uh, opponent of interaction. Opponent mulligan also, so if I draw a white source, I can go Smith plus Crypt and pump it. If I don't draw white source, I'll just cast it. Rebuke skis. Mm. Play Smith. Reveal portable hole or shadow spear. Shadow spear is good. And so go. So next time we play shadow spear and have rebuke up. Don't kill my Smith, please. I don't know why I talk. Now you draw land. That is a land. Uh on blue, metal cyst. Not the biggest and best metal cyst of all time, but still pretty good. Alright, we need a respite here for a turn or so. But monitor currently costs a lot. Play this, just say go. You can dispute and rebuke up. No. So we're going to uh, dispute this, not rebuke it, because uh, dispute's not always going to be good, so. Big game there. That's pretty important. Draw a land. Alright, so we can tap out for Thought Monitor if we want to, but that's clearly pretty risky. Um, we play Land to Ferry, and they have our Mool Spell. We just probably lose. We're just drawing to... I guess they have three cards in hand. Ah, I'm just going to do it. If we wait, I think it just, like, favors them. All right, so we draw our Reverse Engineer and land. All right. Big turn here. Big turn. All right, there's the fairy. They're going to tuck my Thought Monitor. Uh, sure. That's pretty cool. Alright, well, let's fire up the uh, everything, basically. So let's go blue. Blue. 
Tap, tap, tap. Draw land, monitor, stoke whale serpent. Monitor currently costs three. Or four, I mean. I mean, stoke whale for three is pretty good. It dodges some of their rule spells. Uh, they don't have delirium yet. Leaving up rebukes, pretty sketch. They already have a planeswalker in play. Yeah, I just play this. Alright, so Teferi's going now, which is obviously not good, but it is on two, so it is killable by a stone coil. God damn it. Alright, that's gross. Oh my god. Alright. Alright, we're done. Alright. Unfortunately, very, very good draw from our opponent. Um the card Narcifer is kind of a beating for us. They drew, they drew a counter spell, they had to untap blue lands also. Alright, sure. Alright, they got us. They got us. Um We are very weak to the card Narset. Um, uh, remo removal spells in Narset seems like a really, really good way to beat us. So that's the thing that we might, might need to address, uh, in our sideboard or something like that, but that's okay. That's okay. Also, I punted game one, so it's fine. All right, round four. We got this. We got this. Shake it off. Shake it off. 2022. It's a new year. It's a new year. It's a keep. And it's great. And it's great. Black Staff, super cool card. Super cool card. Keep. Removal, threat, threat, artifacts. Hollow Fountain again. All right. We were like a thousand percent sure that they had no targets for a hole in our deck. We could have like played this turn one, maybe. Fire's up, it's a pretty good draw. Alright, so we're going to play... I'm going to hold the vault for Smith. Play the Spire. Play Smith. Agent Smith will get us a Thought Monitor. Love it. Thopter. Trigger. Old Fountain. Hall of Storm Giants, huh? Narset again. Alright, well this is a... Not a good Narset, it's an unprotected Narset, so... Well, Narset does seem very good against us. Are they draw Wrath of God? That's fine. So we have Black Stab or Water Deep, so we don't even care. Uh, play this. Pump the Smith up. And fire up the Staff on the Ornithopter. Four here, three here. And now they, like, kind of have to Wrath, even though we have almost nothing in play. We have a, a uh, Smith that... Uh, replaced itself and an ornithopter. I'm gonna play portable hole here. Um, it's doubtful they're having, having targets for it, and we just want to have artifacts to play for black staff and for thought monitor. Uh, it is opponent's control, right? Yep. Make sure it's opponent controls. So I kill my own stuff, but they untap, they wrath, we untap, and we fire up black staff and attack them. We can monitor for four. We'll see. We'll see what we uh, want to do here. Uh, yes, untap that. Draw shadow spear. Good draw. This makes it just, just free with the monitors. So play this. We're a monitor. We get Black Staff here. We'll just draw cards. Resolve, make sure we resolve this before Narsa comes down. We have a threat in play. Now we have two threats in play. We have uh, the monitor and the Black Staff thing. Probably the portable hole. Alright. Untap and draw a rebuke. Phenomenal draw. Phenomenal draw. Um, only awkward thing is that we cannot have a lot of things tap our artifacts to. We're going to start by casting this, uh, this thought monitor. Just start there. See what's up. Resolves. Draw some cards. Love drawing cards. Metal Cyst and Pathway. Um, looking like a Black Staff turn. See so black staff targeting the portable hole. And we'll have two untapped artifacts for metallic rebuke. Which is pretty sweet. So attack. No blocks. Take the damage. Say go. Alright, no end step there is huge for us. Huge.
All right, well, they just didn't have enough anyway. <laughs> we had them covered, but nothing else to do. So no red is so good for us because they're not going to have Lightning Helix or Prismari Command and all these cheap removal spells on Holy Heat, uh, which is great, which is great. So we're going to bring in our uh, our Disputes, and we're going to cut three portable holes again. Wouldn't mind, like, something like, like Gideon Black Blade or something. So some sort of, like, non-artifact, non-creature threat. I can come down, you're going to play around Wraths, threaten Planeswalkers, and stuff like that. Um, could be a cool, cool, could be a cool card, could be a cool card. Uh, but yeah, I guess it's fun. Alright, so, Sentinel, Crypt, Rebuke, Dispute, Keep, and it's great. Turn 1 Sentinel is going to be freaking awesome against them. Especially because they're not playing spot removal. Love it. Suppose they could go like turn two portable hole with a land, but that's fine too. Black staff of water deep, pretty sweet. Uh, unfortunately, we can't leave up a counter spell and play black staff. So I think we're just gonna leave a counter spell up this turn, honestly. Just play Island, play Crypt, attack. We have two counters in our hand, not a lot of pressure on the board, so play Blackstaff here, and they play like something, something threatening next turn, we could be in big trouble, so just chill. Speed for Narset, Rebute for whatever else. Um, Blackstaff is at a sorcery speed, unfortunately. It's a little awkward, but attack for one. Play staff again. Would love it if I could end step the staff on the crypt, but can't do that. But that's okay. Just keep up mana. Fortunately, the game going at a slower pace like this makes our sentinel worse, but they're going to play an Archon of Absolution. Flying pro white. Creatures can't attack you unless they pay one. All right, we're just going to counter this. Um, does slow the game down significantly for us. Makes our kind of supposed harder to use. Um, and now I get to untap and fire up the black staff. <laughs> thought monitor. Uh, not the best thought monitor right now. Let's place fire. We could make the Sentinel a 4 4 actually. Uh, it's one less point of damage, but. It makes so we're guaranteed to draw a card to play a spell. That's pretty appealing, actually. Let's do that. Alright, and then uh, just exit four. So there you go. We have Dispute for a white, for a, a blue spell, not for a white spell, but we're gonna do Wrath here. <laughs> like, the old 4 4 Sentinel. It's a fairy, has a blue spell. Uh, draw a card. And uh, get off my plane, please. And now we're uh, now we're in great shape. Let's, uh, don't untap that. Nettle cyst thought monitor one short of cyst into monitor, unfortunately, but still really good. All right, and it's a four four, and uh, we could move it to the sentinel and attack for seven. That would be lethal over two turns, but I think it's just not worth it. Um, we'll draw cards off Sentinel anyway. If we draw one spot removal spell, now we're screwed. Just keep it wide. Sure, the Wrath here is totally fine. So, draw a card anyway. Shadow Spear, okay. We have four cards in hand. Untap this. Another Crypt, cool. So now we're like popping out the artifacts. Shadow Spear. Now the monitor costs one now. Let's ship it. Try to draw a counter spell. Stifle? What? Okay. I mean that's great. We still got the we still got the two two, so. Alright, and we're gonna black staff uh the Tormos Crypt that didn't come into play this turn. Stifle? Wow. Who 
play Stifle. Is there a Phyrexian Dreadnought in their deck too? Okay, Boomer. Archon Absolution again. Eh, whatever, sure. I think they're uh, pretty dead. Thopter. So we're going to put the Nettle Cyst on the Thought Monitor and type of both. Sure. Sweet. So yeah, much, much easier without the red removal spells. Um, because they can't just kind of pick things off one at a time, which is pretty cool. And, uh, overall, I must say, I'm impressed with this deck. Um, I haven't looked at Historic too much lately, so I, I peeked in on it, saw the deck list, saw it, uh, some people, some people played it at the, uh, the last, like, Pro Tour-ish event or whatever, and, uh, it just looks really awesome. It's a great mix of synergy, uh, it's got card draw, pretty powerful. Uh, I love the fact that it sort of, it sort of plays this, like, it can interact with you and do stuff with Portable Hole and uh, our sideboard cards, counter spells, glass casket, rebukes, awesome. But it's also pretty aggressive, too. Now, this is just like a 5-5 five, five on turn three, and you have these, you know, these Smiths growing up and the 4-4 four, four Hasters coming in, and uh, that just seems awesome. So if you like Historic, like Affinity, give this like a spin, of course, looks really, really cool. I would say that um, a little more for both Narset and like the Jeskai e, uh, like heavier removal spell Planeswalker decks could be uh, a thing. Possibly Gideon Blackblade is a, is a concern or a possibility. Um, even some sort of like one or two drop that could maybe like have Shroud. I don't, I don't even know. I'm not exactly sure, but we'll look into it. We'll look into it. So again, I'm, I'm Jim Davis. Happy New Year, folks. And uh, look forward to a great year of content here at CoolStuffInc.com and a great year of content in general. Hope you all have a wonderful year and I'll be seeing you around the whole year, I guess. I can't do a see you next year joke, thankfully. So, uh, <laughs> thanks folks. I'm Jim Davis, coolstuffinc.com, promo code Jim5, 5% off your order. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.